Hey guys, Silence Yo here. Welcome back to another Uta Macross Gacha video. So if you guys didn't know, yes, I have been sick for the last eight days up to Chinese New Year. So if you guys are Chinese and celebrating the Chinese or rather the Lunar New Year, Sing Yang Kuai Le to you guys. So yes, guys, we are back finally to do Reina's Gacha. I know it's been a few days already since the Gacha has appeared, but you know, what can I do when I'm sick? I can't make videos, I will sound horrible. And then of course, if I were to do videos, I'm gonna make myself even more sick. So let's do this now with a proper condition. And let's take a look at Reina's yummy looking brand new episode plate and see how does it fare. So 3,874 total score, well balanced that all around the board. Of course, pay attention to who else can equip this episode plate. Um, of course, it's total up, so units total is increased by 30% up. So not the best percentage in terms of a center skill, so likely this episode plate is not meant to be used in the center position. So alright, moving along. Active skill, life recovery at 50%. Though this is definitely the highest um, life recovery amount that we've ever seen in the game, or rather it's currently still the highest amount that you can probably attain in an episode plate. So Reina's episode plate is definitely um, beneficial for this current event, I suppose, if you are not you know, going for the high score, just want to survive, clear those missions, because there's some of the missions that require you to be at a certain health percentage in order to get that bonus mission mission percentage uh, at the end. So yes, that's what Reina's episode play is built for. But of course, the main thing is the life skill. So score, repeat, and damage. So if you guys are still not familiar with this life skill, it is definitely something new for the score, repeat um, style of play. So this time round, you know, um, you take damage while the skill is activated you know, for four, for seven seconds. And then of course, um, you know, you you decrease twenty health every second. So yeah, it, that's one of the reasons why it has this healing life recovery, um, and of course, ninety five percent boost in score, which is a lot higher than your usual score repeat uh, abilities. And there's a reason why. It's higher because yes, you're taking life damage along it. So the main thing for this episode plate to be actually good, or at least one of Reina's top tiering episode plate, is to see whether it comes with a special note attached to it. And yes, it does. It actually comes with a score note. So this is actually Reina's better few pink episode plates in terms of high score achievement, um, you know, purposes. So. Is this an episode plate worth getting? Totally! So if you have the extra moolah in your bank account and you can purchase singing stone packs, go ahead, try and attain Reina's episode plate for high score achievement purposes. And of course, the Reina fans definitely get this yummy delicious episode plate because it's just so cute to see Reina glob down on a, um, a Kurage <laughs> hamburger. <laughs> so yeah, of course, um, the costume is definitely lovely, um, not one of the best costumes Reina has in her wardrobe, but I have to appreciate that that gentle smile when she eats the hamburger, you know, it's just very adorable. <laughs> and yeah, the pre-evolved version of the illustration is pretty nice as well, seeing Reina working hard, um, you know, in the maid cafe, I suppose. Um, so yeah, so with that said, this episode play is definitely a must get uh, even if you're a hardcore um, Utame Cross player or if you're a diehard Reina fan uh, like myself. So I am definitely hoping to get this episode played um, but first thing first let's test out the waters in terms of the luck today with the free episode plate pool um, that's given with this gacha. So let's test and see how it goes before you know we decide to do a serious template pool. Alright, so there was a very quick load in the gacha. So we do get three ooh, five Valkyrie animations. Oh boy. Oh boy. Whoa, we get a rainbow box out on the first pool. Okay, so today's luck is pretty good. It is Makina's episode play. 
Um, an old one at that, but not that old. Still useful in some sense. Alright, so not bad of a free pool. <laughs> Alright, so let's dive down into the discounted hand click pool. Uh, hopefully the luck continues on, you know, considering that I, I th there's the worry that we might have just drained away all the luck with that single pool, <laughs> but still. Alright, let's go with this. Let's see if things are gonna go well. Okay, we do get some decent slow loading there, so it's pretty hopeful, pretty hopeful. Alright, here we go guys. One, two, three, four, five. Yep, the luck is still going on. Hopefully we do get a single copy of Reina's episode plate. Oh, and a single rainbow box out of the whole ten. Okay. Alright, let's keep this going. Common stuff is not what we are here for. Oh, we do get a regular costume episode plate. So we do have the chance of unlocking Reina's costume via episode ops. And lots of Maki Maki love even though it's actually a Reina's gacha. But that's fine, as you know, the pair comes together when you have Reina, you have Makina. So we do get this notification to say that we have the chance of unlocking Reina's costume via episode ops if, you know, we don't have enough epi uh, costume points via episode plate. That's fine. So, ooh, Makina's episode plate is actually getting close to a plus 5 luck value. So yeah, like I said, Makina's episode play is a pretty old one. You can see that the total score is not that fantastic, but you know, it's still usable in some way. Um, maybe like some kind of event requires it to be a, like a bonus booster. Who knows? But still. Alright, so we didn't have too much luck with Reina's <laughs> gacha. Uh, let's, not, let's not end the episode here. On a very down note, I mean, we did pull two copies of Makina's 5-star episode plate, so technically it was uh, kind of a semi-eventful pool. But we do have, you know, a confirmed gacha ticket. Uh, if you guys have been logging in daily, um, the 5-star login bonus has already given out the first ticket, so it should get the second ticket pretty soon in a few more days' time. And of course, I do have a lot of... Um, Space Time Galaxy Gacha <laughs> uh, ticket. So let's do 10 pieces here. I'm going to conserve the other 10 for Min Mei's Gacha video, which is coming out in a few days' time. So let's do this. You know, and then of course we'll end it on the guaranteed 5 star Gacha. Ooh, it seems like we're getting a bit of a decent load there. So the luck seems to be going on. So I have a feeling that Min Mei's Gacha video might end up being a very terrible pool. Okay, so three Valkyrie pools, um, animations. It seems like the trend for this entire episode is always on the second blink. Pretty interesting. But so far, the turnout for the entire Gacha pool video is pretty bland. A lot of common episode plates though. Okay, so will the red box evolve? Nope, no evolution on the red box, so that's kind of a bummer. But that's okay. Let's let's end this on a good note. We do get a few new episode plates, and of course, Milane's episode plate evolves, so it's not too bad of a turnout, I think. Uh, at least there's some kind of progression of the episode plate collection, but still, nothing that you know spectacular in terms of usefulness. All right. So let's do this, let's end the video here with a guaranteed 5 star pool. I uh, hope we do get something, you know, useful. <laughs> Not that Makina's episode plate isn't useful, well technically it isn't right now, but you know, in the future who knows. It might power up the old episode plates. Alright. So it is a 5 star guaranteed pool and immediately we get to see the rainbow box. On the first bling. And ooh! I don't think I have this yet. Alright! There we go, it's brand new. <clears throat> so yeah! So 
not too bad of a gacha video. I think it's pretty mediocre. We did get five star episode plates. I gotta be grateful for it because it does give costume points that might unlock a brand new episode op that might be used to feed for Reyna's costume. Who knows? Anyways, a brand new Kaname plate is good in my books. I'm, I'm not sure whether this plate is actually useful. It's it seems to be decent since it has that um, mode score up, you know, because it's not exactly a fantastic skill to have. Um, it's just a kind of a backup skill. But you know, costume points, once again, like I said, it's always good to have more to unlock those yummy yummy episode ops that's going to help you unlock all those costumes that you have been lacking behind or those that you really want to unlock but the episode plates are just not coming towards you. Anyway guys, thank you guys so much for joining me on another episode of Utah Across Gacha videos and thank you guys as well for being patient and being so caring on the Facebook page when I announced that I was sick uh, for a total of 8 days. <laughs> yes, it's been a very long illness, um, very, I was down with a very harsh fever, flu. They even carried on through to the uh, eve of Chinese New Year and of course day one as well. So, you know, when I had to, when I had to go for my reunion dinner with my family, you know, I, I kind of had to be like kind of social distance away from them uh, and having the family members, you know, scoop food for me, so that kind of stuff. So it, it was a pretty, pretty isolated uh, <laughs> family dinner. <laughs> so yes, guys, I hope you guys are feeling better and if you guys are celebrating the Chinese New Year um, with your friends and family. Uh, make sure you guys stay safe doing it as well because we are still going through the COVID period um, you know, around the world. So yes, guys, until then, I'll see you guys in the next Time Across Gacha video and don't forget all the wonderful, helpful stuff like liking, subscribing and all the good jazz. Until then, bye!